Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So we're back on Little Red today and um, if you can see behind me here, I've got a couple of new new additions to, to add on. Um, I've already actually put the, the new sounder, the HDS on, so that's all rigged up. I've hooked it up on a little RAM mount. But the one thing that I wanted to run you through was the new active target from Lowrance. Now, um, what it is, is live, it's live sonar. So um, you'll be able to see the fish live. You'll be able to see your lures live. Um, and it, it's directional. So you can mount this on your Minn Kota, um, or the water snake. Um, and it, it will, will give you live sonar of what's in the direction of the transducer, which is pretty cool. Um, I haven't used it before. It's something new that they're raving about it. There's, there's really good reviews on it. So I thought I may as well whack one on Little Red and, and give it a shot and see how it goes. So in this video, I just want to show you what's in the box. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to rig it up on the, on the electric motor and rig it into the system. But um, yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so I've already installed the, the uh, Lowrance HDS. Now this is a HDS 9. I did want to go a 12, but I thought it might be a little bit of overkill. Um, but so we're, we're gonna we're gonna work with the nine for the time being. But I've put it on this uh, awesome little ram mount, and the cool thing about this is you can move it whatever way you want, 360 degrees, and then you can come onto the front, undo the bottom one, and move, move the the top so the unit can be facing that way when you're driving. And when you're fishing up the front, you can just simply turn the turn the unit around um, so that's how I've got it set up I probably will go and install another unit at the front because when you're fishing you kind of want the sounder in front of you but for the time being we're just gonna run with it like this um, see how it goes and then at a later date maybe we will whack another another unit at the front but let's get straight into the active target um, and let's have a look what comes in the box and how we're gonna rig it up okay so we get this packaging open. Comes in this bloody shoe box. I've actually already opened this and had a bit of a look in it. But we've got the instruction manual. We've got the module. So this is a, it's actually pretty heavy. This is going to be mounted. I think I'll probably go and mount it up underneath the, the casting deck. Um, you've got your power, your ethernet and your sonar plug. Um, but yeah, you'll want to mount that somewhere. I mean, I'm assuming this is um, reasonably waterproof, but you want to mount that out of the out of the elements. Um, we've got the that's actually the transducer. So, as I said, it's a multi-directional um, transducer. So it comes with a couple of different mounts. This is the mount for rigging on the electric motor, um, and there's another mount in here. I don't know where that goes i'll have to read the instructions um, we've got an ethernet cable so that's going to simply just plug into the unit here and then we'll run this down the back into the hds um, it's actually a pretty thick transducer cable as well it's not um yeah it's actually really thick it's not not a small cable um, and what else have we got we just got a couple more a couple of clamps we've got a power um, you can mount this transducer to the bottom of the electric or you can mount it to the pole i'm not sure how i'm going to do it yet we're gonna i might do a quick little bit of research on how i'm going to do it but um that's what's in the box so let's get to rigging it yeah so looking in this this manual you can see how there's a couple of different different mounting options um like i was saying on the pole or actually on the, 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 the unit itself, but I think I'm gonna go with the pole mounting with this one. I think that's gonna be, be the go. Right, let's have a look. So I've just been looking at how I'm gonna mount this to the, to the um, shaft of the unit, and I just realized it's actually not gonna work properly on this, this water snake. I know they're made primarily for like Minn Kota's or Lowrance actually had their own trolling motor as well, but this where, where, where you mount the shaft mounting um, it actually is supposed to fit below here below where it engages and, and locks in so there's not enough not enough shaft below to bloody mount it to so 
I guess we're gonna go with the mounting on the actual housing itself. I think that's that's gonna be the only option. I have seen a few guys um, on YouTube rig these up with a separate pole on, on the front of the boat, which looks like a good idea, but um, you know, then you can actually direct the transducer wherever you want it to shoot, but um, I'm not mucking around doing that at the moment. So I think we'll just mount it up to the front here and um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And if it doesn't pr perform very well, then maybe I will go with one of those poles. Um, or maybe I'll just have to upgrade this, this water snake as well. But um, let's get mounting it. <laughs> I actually just made a stuff up as well because I was meant to mount the transducer on this this pin before I even put it on there. So <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly undo it all, remount it. I should have read the instructions properly, but I was a little bit too excited to get this on there. Bloody hell. So that there is how you're actually supposed to do it. You put it in, tighten it up, then put the hose clamp through it. Okay, should be in business. They said don't over tighten it, so I think that, yeah, you know, I mean, you don't want it on there too loose either, but that should be, be right. So the cool thing about the way this is mounted is um, you can actually just simply rotate the transducer depending on where you want to want to scan. So whether you want to scan forward, um, you can obviously put it in that position. If you want to scan down, you can just change the position. It's, it's really cool. Um, I like that feature. It's just nice and simple to, to change your direction. Okay, so unfortunately you have to drill a pretty big bloody hole just to fit the plug through. Um, that's the problem with all these plugs. They should come up with some better design or make a plug a bit smaller because you know, whether it's the transom or wherever it's through, you always got to cut a big hole. But now that we've got that sorted, we are going to go ahead and mount, which I already have mounted, the module box. So I've hidden that out of the way under the under the deck and that way it won't get wet and that's secured in there. So now we're just gonna run power to the module through the little power box and then we'll connect it up to the unit. Okay, so we've got this all mounted up and it's just a matter of connecting all the terminals in. We got power, we got ethernet. The ethernet is what shares it to the unit. Then it's a matter of just tidying up all the, the excess wiring in the corner. And now we're just gonna run this to power and to the unit. So we got the two ethernet ports on the back will tidy all this wiring up but it's simply that's what connects the active target to the unit and get this in there boom now we're connected there we are all rigged up I'll tuck the wiring back up and neaten it a bit more but it's all connected up and hooked up into the system so Okay guys, well that's the active target by Lawrence. It's all all hooked up, all installed. It was pretty easy to, to put it, uh, hook everything up. Um, connected all the power, run it all into the Lawrence, so it's all into the system. So it's just a matter of learning how to use it now. So um, if you've got one of these, let me know. You know, give me some tips. If it's any good, let us know how to use it. Otherwise, um, we'll, we'll get out there and I'll show you guys what how this thing works and hopefully we can catch some fish. So. See you next time, guys.